welcome back to theme park wizard and today i wanted to just tell you about something that may or may or may or may have not slipped by in the news yesterday disneyland launched a public safety campaign they're on governor newsom's side for once well kind of they have realized i guess the severe rise in the cases and they decided that maybe with our help um, we can get more people to wear a mask and do all the good stuff so they, la- they launched a fun little safety campaign as you can see on some major landmarks in orange county and la county this is the angel stadium right here with edna mode saying please wear a face covering darling and they another landmark they did this on was the arctic train station the which is the anaheim regional transportation center they have dashed there telling everyone to wash their hands. Maybe not quickly, but wash their hands. It's, I feel like that's definitely kind of like a mixed message because it's supposed to spend at least like 20 seconds washing your hands, but dash. I guess that's kind of quick, but people may say, oh, dash is telling me to wash them even quicker and just run them under the sink for like a second and leave. But it's a cool little public safety campaign that they rolled out starting yesterday. I know most likely be going throughout the course of the pandemic until the this surge gets better, which hopefully I pray every single day or I hope every single day that it does get better soon. But it's a nice thing because uh, hopefully maybe more people will listen to Disney instead of to like Governor Newsom or you know because when a governor tells you to do something, it kind of strikes as like. You know, like maybe like some rebellion, like I don't want to do it, especially when you see that the governor and his friends aren't really following the rules themselves in regards to outdoor dining and stuff like that. So it might instill like distrust and uh, rebellion against the public. But maybe if companies, not just Disney, but if Universal and even other companies, Apple, um, they just have these nice but fun looking campaigns then maybe more families and more more people will be inclined to you know follow the rules wear a mask and such i think it looks great i like how they're using the incredibles um because they're superheroes so they're trying to save people which it's a nice little message there um and and it's great and disney released uh, like a little 30 second video on uh each poster for this campaign and let's go ahead and let's watch this and break it down right here so as the video starts we have tips to help protect yourself and others and there's jack jack saying come on guys we can do this even frozen says go ahead listen to jack jack (laughs) and there she is telling you wear a face covering because heroes are capes aren't for heroes but you can wear a face covering Keep herself six feet from others. Violet in her invisible bubble. Um, and, well, that's a really quick ad. I didn't get to see the rest of it. But, together, you can be incredible. A message from Disneyland. And, again, I expect, hopefully, other companies, maybe other theme park companies to also represent this. Maybe something from Knott's. Maybe something from Universal to cover more of L.A. County. Because I know uh, the Disney one covers portions of L.A. County, but mostly Orange County. Because that's, of course, where they are. But maybe LA and uh, Universal and Six Flags can cover LA County with some fun, creative campaigns. Maybe from uh, the Minions. That's a nice family friendly, family friendly property. Universal can uh, do uh, to go ahead and tell you to wear a face covering. But please, if you're watching this and you don't, definitely wear a face covering when you're in public. And try not to, you know, invite too many non-household people into your home because a lot of this thing is really spreading by uh, private gatherings from people from house people that aren't living in the household so definitely try that we're almost there guys we almost got this uh vaccines are rolling out so hopefully things will start to get better and hopefully the parks can open in the next few months hopefully by march i'm crossing my fingers but yeah i thought this was a great idea um that since all the obviously all the outbursts and fighting with Newsom has not worked, Disney has and Disney realizes the rise in cases. That's nice that they are 
saying, let's try to do something about it, about this. Let's try to take initiative and try to get more people to listen so we can get these parks open and just get this pandemic over with much faster. But what do you guys think of this fa- public safety campaign? Do you like it? Do you think it's cute? Are you, uh, do you think other companies should step in and help and do the same thing as well? It doesn't take too much money to quickly advertise a little thing like that. Or even put a 30 second commercial on TV or even in front of their, make it, they can have Disney Plus ads. Um, not like total, like, actual ads but like in front of each disney plus show before you know right after the logo or before the logo they can uh just do that little 30 second spot right there about where your face going and it can be targeted but cases are rising all over the country so they really can do it just all over the country if they want to but i think it's great hopefully it helps hopefully more people listen and most especially more children who may not like wearing masks maybe maybe they'll be like oh my gosh Edna Mode. I love Edna Mode. She's wearing the mask. I got to, I must wear it too. But um yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, have a fantastic day. Please please subscribe to the channel.